Welcome. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to go through a little bit more about synthetic division rather than long division. And long division is a great place to start um, because we are going to have to use long division later in a different curriculum. But it's also just going to be important to kind of understand what exactly we're doing when dividing polynomials. But there's also a easier and quicker way if we have the correct division of polynomials that we can use synthetic division. Now, uh, we're going to be dealing with synthetic division of our you know, kind of functions or polynomials. But let's just kind of take a look at, um, I'm just going to make a generic one here. OK. So if I was going to say, you know, let's take x squared plus 3x plus 6 and divide it by x plus 2. By using long division, what we do is we take our divisor, which was x plus 2, and then we would take um, divide it into our dividend, which is 3x plus 6. And then we'd apply the long division algorithm to go and finish this out. And that's uh, very good. Now, the main important thing about dealing with, when we're dealing with uh, synthetic division, is our divisor has to be in the form of x minus k. All right? Now, there's a couple things you might look at this and you say, well, this is x plus 2. It's not minus. Well, that just means you're just going to be taking the opposite of your k. It just needs to be, we can rewrite this as x minus k if you want to. We could say it's like this, x minus a negative 2. Therefore, my k is going to be negative 2. So you can always write it. If it's plus, you can write it as a subtraction problem. All right, That's just going back to a little bit of algebra. So we need to make sure it's in the form of x minus k. But what's more important about that is you need to see that my x is linear. That means it only has an exponent of 1. We can only apply synthetic division when the degree of my divisor is going to equal 1. So we can have a divisor. We could, you could do x plus 2. You could also do 3x uh, minus 5. It doesn't matter whatever your divisor is as long as it is linear. So I'm just going to kind of go through it real quick. I'm not going to go through the formal definition. I'm just going to go, how would we write it up for synthetic division? And then what I'll do is I'll show you some examples of exactly how we're going to take synthetic division. So the first thing that we do is we actually take our divisor and we set it equal to 0. And we'll get a little bit more in depth on why we're setting it equal to 0 once we talk about zeros of polynomials. But for right now, let's just take it and we'll set it equal to 0. Then we'll solve. So in this case, we have x equals negative 2. And that's going to be the value that we're going to use on the outside for our synthetic division. Then what we do is we take the leading coefficient, or I'm sorry, the coefficient of each one of our terms. So in this case, we have a 1, a 3, and a 6. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm not going to go through this. I just want to go back through you know, when we have a division problem, how we set it up for long division, and then how we're going to set it up for synthetic division. And now what I'll do is I'll go through a series of videos showing you how exactly we're going to finish this and what our quotient is going to look like. So there you go. That's a little bit of introductory of synthetic division. Thanks.